Good morning from day five, maybe, I think. Uh, today's a day at sea. We've got a lot of stuff planned for today. We've got uh, Apollo brunch. We've got the lights just turned off because Jackson took the card out. We've got, uh, we got a massage plan for today. We've got Apollo dinner in the room that we're gonna get because that's one of the perks of having the suite and uh, lots of fun in between there. So it's gonna be a very fun day, packed with food and fun. So let's head into the lounge and get some snacky snacks before our big brunch. Cause as you guys know, being on a cruise, all about the food. Ooh, what is this? A chocolate cherry muffin. Oh my goodness. Chocolate Danish. Some croissants. Of course. A cinnamon bun. What's this one over here? Pistachio Danish? Some strawberry donut There's vanilla rolls? one over there yesterday. There was? There was. There's a vanilla flavor. What do you think the smoothie is for today? Tropical smoothie. Oh. I don't have tropical. You want to try the tropical one? Yeah. Let's see. Oops. All right, give it a try. See what you think. What does it taste like? Tropical. Yeah, does it tastes like tropical. Mmm. Some various fruit. This is fruit and nut muesli. Deluxe cheese and charcuterie. Fresh it fruit, has of course. something on the top. I think those are pineapples, maybe. Here's something else that I feel like I have not shown from lounge is that they have a, a variety of cereals. And Jackson's been trying a new cereal every day. Oh uh, no, that, that. The pistachio oh, Danish. Oh, the pistachio Danish. Today, he's trying Rice Krispie Treats. What do you think of them, buddy? Do you like them? Yeah. You like how they made noise? All right, so now, look at this pretty lady. <laughs> We're headed down to Palo to have some brunch. We haven't done Palo brunch in years. We've been doing Remy brunch, so we decided to do Palo this time. Right? This ought to be good. I'm excited. All right, showing you guys off the magnets and the fish extenders now. A lot of people are doing take a pin, leave a pin. I've seen so many like pin trading boards on the doors, which I, is so, that's a cool idea. Oh, should we brought our Look pins? at this one. Oh yeah, look it's at that. Nick's 36th birthday cruise. Oh. Happy birthday, Nick. Hey. Look at them all. My goodness. We didn't, we never sign up for the fish extender because you have to like join a group on Facebook and Yeah, so like every single thing. cruise has a group on Facebook. Mm -hmm. There's also like boards outside of some people's rooms and they said, what did you do in Puerto Rico? Went to the pigeon park with a thousand pigeons. Whoa, interesting. Stayed on board. Oh no. All right, here we are at Paula for brunch. So this is Meridian. So Meridian is such an interesting lounge because it's on the very back of the ship, just above Cabana. A little neat detail about the Meridian bar is that the floor is a sextant, an old navigational device oh. for sailing. You use it to track your course. All right, heading into Apollo. So this is supposed to feel like a gondola, like a, like a river boat. Well, they put you in the fancy room. <laughs> Look at this. Wow. Last time I was in this room, I made ravioli or something. Yeah, I'll put a link to that video down below the like button. Where I came oh, where you did the cooking class. And I did the cooking class yeah. on board. We like went into the kitchen. Yeah, uh, you made, what did you make, pizza? I made pizza and I made the ravioli. Oh. I think so, at least. Ooh, before we came in, I was looking online for the 2023 menu. And that's definitely different than what this is. Ooh, lots of different stuff. But the menu that I saw online had, oh, there it is, poached eggs on toast. On a toasted butter and English muffin. Why don't they call it Eggs Benedict? I don't know. That's a good question. Hmm. Mm -hmm. You gotta pick it between an antipasti. Then I think you can just pick as many things as you want. You can order as many entrees as you want. You could order the entire menu, they said. By the way, the basketball court's above us, so there's like a lot of thumping happening well, right now. You would think because they do the same thing on The Wish. When yeah. we were in Remy, the basketball court was like the wall behind us. It was like the wall where the the basket was. But you would think that they would design the ships differently. Do you hear it? It's so loud. <laughs> <laughs> so he did say that the pizzas are the size of this plate. Yeah. So they're big. They're big pizzas. Yeah. They did he also said that the pancakes are the size of the inside of this plate. And you get two per order. Mm -hmm. So uh, and he recommended so Anthony is our server. He recommended the lasagna, which we met a family who also recommended the lasagna. I think I'm going to get that. Right. And then the uh, Parmesan chicken he recommended, as well as the mild mushroom ravioli. Yeah. So 
I don't know. I, I also wanted to try their bread snapper. I'm not okay. sure. Hmm. I'm gonna get the Parmesan chicken. Yeah. I'm also gonna get maybe a ham and cheese frittata. That sounds delicious. And probably a waffle and maybe a pizza. Do you want to split a pizza? Can you take anything to go? Uh, why not? I don't know. I just think we're gonna have a lot of extra food. Right? What what pizza would you get? I would get the goat cheese and sun-dried tomato, but I know you don't like that. Let's do it. Do you like? Would you eat that? Yeah, I'll eat that. Okay. All right. So we're gonna do that. Do a pizza, waffle, frittata, and chicken. That's my order, I as well as the antipasti. Well, I wish they had salad. I oh. kind of want it like a salad. Like an antipasti. No, but like a real salad with greens, you know? Oh, okay. Is there no greens in this? I don't think so. No. Olives. Yeah. <laughs> what has greens in it? You can get greens in your, in your, uh, right here. No, this is soups. I yeah. Thought it was, yeah, I guess not. There's <laughs> no, you don't get any greens at all. Asparagus right there with the <laughs> snapper. What else? I don't know. <laughs> Green beans down here at the steak. Wow, yeah. Not a lot of greens here. Sparkling alcoholic ciders. Look at that. Get a little bit of glitter in there. Look at it shine. This is like when I gave Jackson that blue stuff in the lounge. <laughs> yeah. I forget what that stuff's called, but it's basically just apple juice. It was the sparkling apple juice with some sort of glitter in it, so. making iced tea with tea ice. So you never have any watered down tea. Just tea on tea. <laughs> Look at that. Thank you. <laughs> Amazing. I tell you, Jen, the atmosphere in here is unparalleled. From the wallpaper, to the dishes, to the lamp, to the Dyson plugged in next to us. <laughs> it's perfect. This one here is Bresola, which is your air-dried beef. Your prosciutto, that is coppa, which is um, from the neck of the pork. Your salami calabresi. Your cacotta di trufo, which is a two type of milk cheese with truffle in it your parmigiano reggiano, and then your cherry granola olives that are marinated, and then your mild cherry pepper in the corner. Ooh. The heirloom tomato soup. There's some sort of cheese in it, Ooh. and basil and olive oil. Let me try it, I'll tell you. You're just taking my spoon. That's mine. Oh, <laughs> that is your spoon. Mm, yeah. Has it got parmesan in it? I don't know, I'll ask. Okay. <laughs> so you have your Vedicini sticks, your levosh uh, with your sesame seeds, so like a cracker. Uh, the beans here are your caramelized onion and blue cheese focaccia. And then you have your chia vata. And in the front you have your fried spinach and sun dried tomato beans. Ooh. Ooh, it's great. Thank you. We found out this is the heirloom tomato and basil soup. It's just heirloom tomatoes, basil, and a little bit of olive oil in there. We've got a ham and cheese frittata. And then a zucchini frittata. I just thought I would try it because it's not something I would normally order. So Ooh. give it a little, a little try. Anthony is putting on some grated parmesan. Look at that. That's perfect. Yeah, thank you. Mm. I'll take some too. Why not? It's a calzone. Yes. Lots of stuff in it. <laughs> and then the sun dried tomato and goat cheese pizza. So this one had, oh I like these plates, these are nice. So this one had prosciutto, tomato, basil, and bell pepper. Whoa. And cheese, I think. I hope Should there'd I be it? cheese in there, yeah, let's, let's see. Let's do a little Oh my goodness. goodness. Cornucopia and stuff in there, wow. All right, so what have we had so far? Ooh, so far we had, had the tomato soup, which was delicious. Very good, very fresh. We had our um, ensalada. It didn't. It wasn't super oh, no. acidic, which I liked. Sorry, it was. Sorry. It had the uh, the basil, so it was like kind of like a sweet and tart. You know, I don't know. Yeah. It was it was nice. It was very nice. But it was also robust. It was robust. <laughs> and we had our frittatas. Yeah, I had the zucchini frittata. I wouldn't normally order something like that, but it was actually pretty good. My ham and cheese one was awesome. Yeah, his was better than mine for sure, but the arugula on top the arugula was really Arugula and the balsamic, and then he put some fresh parmesan. Ooh. Yeah, very good. Yeah. The eggs were really like fluffy. And then we had the calzone, was delicious. But you said that you didn't like it as much. It wasn't because I had already tasted the goat cheese and sun-dried tomato pizza. And that was Which was just like really flavor good. punch in the face. It was so good. The sun-dried tomatoes were like a little bit burnt from the pizza mm -hmm. oven. It was very, very good. I, I actually took a, a piece to have for just, just in case I'd like... Yeah. Oh, you gotta I'm put it in a pocket. No, I don't have any pockets. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the reason that you would never put a pizza in your pocket. You're like, I don't have pockets. I just, in case I was eating my next course and I thought, oh, I wish I had more of that pizza. Right. Saved a little half piece. Okay. 
Yeah, so far everything has been delicious. Oh, and the antipasti was good too. Oh, it was so good. The meats I, are a little bit chewy. I do wish that I had gotten the seafood just to, just to try it. I've still had, get it. I've had so much seafood on this trip. You can still get it. Mm. There's nothing holding you back. Nothing mm. can stop you now. Very true. Ooh, chicken parmesan with creamy risotto and San Marzano tomato sauce underneath. Ooh, lasagna bolognese. So this, I've heard so many good things about on this trip. It's so funny because we're in, like we're in a room that has artificial lighting, but you're getting a little bit of natural lighting on you. Oh, because the windows so are kind of a little bit blue. <laughs> <laughs> I think I changed it so you're the correct color, but now the wallpaper is the wrong color. Oh no. That's okay. What is the inside? Oh my goodness gracious. The pasta is so tender, like it's not rubbery at all. It just cuts so so jiggle. nicely. Oh yeah. <laughs> They're wow. still kind of moving. Where is the pasta in there? It just looks like mush. It's like all the layers. Well, no, not mush. I mean like filling. It looks like all filling. Let me get your first impression. Okay. Yeah. The texture is very tender. There's nothing really like notating the different layers, you know, but it tastes very like homemade. You know, exactly okay. you know if I made a lasagna, it probably wouldn't taste this good, but it has that homemade flavor. It doesn't taste mass produced. Okay. You know, like most of the other things on the cruise kind of, you can tell they made like a million of them. This one doesn't taste like that. All right, I'm going to try some of this lasagna. Oh, that's a big bite. Well, you oh, need to goodness. get everything. Okay. Oh. Wow. Isn't that really good? It kind of melts in your mouth. Yeah. That's very so, nice. I have to, I didn't get her name, but it's Jake's mom. We talked to you guys on at Cabana's yesterday morning at breakfast, and you said you have to try, they're from the UK, you said you have to try the lasagna, and I have to say, Jake's mom, you were right. Very good. Good recommendation. There you go. Jake's mom approved. <laughs> Let's see here. I do say that the chicken parm is less flavorful than that. Oh, is it? Lasagna, yeah. Oh, okay. A lot of flavor in the parmesan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. great. Mm -hmm. I like it. We had him bring out some of the sweeter stuff towards the end. This is our final course before dessert. I got a strawberry Mickey waffle, and he brought out some strawberry compote and some whipped cream and some berries to go on top. Is that whipped cream or whipped butter? It's whipped cream because you know why. Because you're a little lad who loves berries and cream. Oh, that's me. We told him that. Yeah. <laughs> that's what happened. And you're a little lady that loves pancakes. Yeah. What's that on top of your pancake? I think it's like an orange marmalade. Ooh. And then you we Paddington? have... I think I am. This is my, my buttermilk pancakes. And then we also have... Wait, where's your other thing? Right here. Oh, there it is. The syrup? Mm-hmm. And this is a muffin injected with Nutella. Okay. An almond and amaretto uh, croissant. Is it almond amaretto? Uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> a berry puff pastry and an oat and blueberry muffin. Here's a look at the dessert menu. Warm amaretto chocolate fondant. I think that's what I'm going to get. They did tell us that all the alcohol is burnt off of everything in these desserts. Italian, ooh. Zabagloni? Oh, they like donuts. Okay. Lemoncello tort. Buttermilk panna cotta pot. Chocolate raspberry tart. And then they also have something for the bakery. The warm apple cinnamon sticky bun. Sounds pretty good. Maple butter frosting with caramelized pecan nuts. Ooh, yeah, I think, no, I'm going to stick with this warm ember of chocolate fondant. Sounds good. All right, you went into the Nutella muffin. What'd you think? It's very sticky. Oh. But it was very good. Okay. Uh, rich, had like a nice rich flavor. We still have these things to try too. This isn't even dessert. I know. <laughs> this is just like, they just bring it to you just for fun. And you got the lemon cello. Really so there's like a citrus cream. It looks very beautiful. And then I got the chocolate amaretto fondant with homemade hazelnut gelato. Or the house made. All right, we just finished that polo. It was delicious. It really was. I have to say though, I think that I like the menu at Remy better. Well, yeah, it's a fancier, right? A fancier place. Yeah, but Paulo was great. Yeah. It was more. Um, a little bit more laid back. Yeah, it did feel like a little bit less stuffy, for sure. Right. And our server, Anthony, was fantastic. What was your favorite thing that you ate? The lasagna was wonderful. Yeah. Uh, I loved 
the um, the goat cheese pizza was so so good. I actually really like the tomato soup too. Yeah, I think I did too, and I'm not one that likes soup. Yeah. But I like the tomato soup. I like the goat cheese pizza. That was my favorite thing that we had. It was so good. Very delicious. Also, my dessert was very very good. Oh yeah. What did you think of your dessert? It was okay. Ooh, just okay. Yeah, yours was definitely better. Mine wasn't bad, but I think I was just I was like in the mood for chocolate. But I ordered Ooh. the lemon cello just because I wanted to try something different. I was ordering things that I wouldn't normally order. There you go. It's good to be adventurous. Yeah. Now we're headed back up to the room. We actually have a massage plan. I don't I think, think we're gonna do it. <laughs> well, I think we're gonna cancel because Jackson's having a hard time. He's not loving going into the kids club. He right. wants us to go with him. Right. And we can't. So, so I think we're gonna cancel our massage. Let this be a little bit of a tip for you guys. What happened was he went into the kids club for the first time by himself. He was totally fine. He loved it. He had a good time. Then the second time, for the piston cup thing, I went in there with him, mm -hmm. and now he wants me to go in with him every time because he knows it's a possibility. Right, but he doesn't understand that that's like a, a sometimes occasion. Right. So I think we're just gonna cancel the massage and hang yeah. out with, with it, you know. It'll Put be, it on the slide. Yeah. Why not? Filling out what your favorite Disney movie is. I wrote Coco. What's well, Jen my, wrote it for me. What's my favorite Disney movie? You like Aristocats? Put the good dinosaur. <laughs> it's not bad. I don't hate that movie. I do. I kind of like it. What's one that I watch? I feel like the, the Disney movie that I've seen the most is probably Moana. Really? Yeah, I feel like I've watched it with Jackson at least three or four times. Oh, I've watched Elemental with Jackson like five times. Oh, have you? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so, I've seen Elemental put, a bunch. I'll put, I'll put Elemental then for yeah. Jackson. So now we are back from Palo Brunch. Took a quick second to like regroup, get changed. I put my shorts on because I was wearing long pants earlier. And I'm gonna stay <laughs> with this happy baby. <laughs> Look at this right little here. buddy right here. Say hello. And mommy and Jackson are gonna go down the slide. We are. We're gonna go down the slide 100 times. As long as the wait's not 100 minutes. Yeah, uh, I don't, yeah, I guess you're right. Everybody's probably on the slide, huh? We're gonna see what grandpa's doing, see if grandpa wants to go down the slide. <laughs> That'll be fun. Yeah. You think grandpa wants to go down the slide? Yeah, I do too. That's what I think too. Or grandpa. Yeah, or grandma. grandma. I don't know if grandma will go down the slide. We can ask her, but she might She might not be interested in the slide, buddy. So uh, brunch was amazing. I'm so tired. You know how when you eat like so much food, you're so tired? Oh. That's me right now. But we're gonna go um, to the pool for a little bit. And then we are having Paolo dinner to the room tonight as well. We kind of packed all of our food stuff into one day. But they, I was trying to make sure that we could still get the baby's puree to the room even though we're not going to be eating at you know our regular rotation and um one of the perks with this room is that they said that they could do it That's right. so you're gonna still have your puree at dinner time babes you excited we did it yeah hey he, he keeps looking at the microphone oh yeah all right and me and baby boy are gonna go down for a nap yeah nap time Okay, so this is his first time in Nemo's Reef. Hi, buddy. What do you think? What you do? <laughs> do you love it? Yeah. Whoa. I want to put him by one of the like. Oh, the tall ones. Look at this one. You want to touch it? You want to touch it? Touch with your hand. What's it doing? Whoa! Is it splashing you? Is it splashing you? Yeah. But he's having a good time. Whoa! Daddy's having a good time. I want to know if to go down the slide with me. Look at this bud, yay! Okay. Alright, you come down, bud. Whoa! Hi, Oliver. Do you love your first splash pad experience? Whoa, look at Jack. What do you think? Learning from Big Look, he's so excited to see you. He was so excited to see Jackson. Hi, buddy. Whoa. Very excited. Look how excited we are.
right, so we're all done playing in the splash pad and having a good time. Jackson went down the slide a bunch. Um, now we're gonna go into the concierge lounge because he said he's hungry, but we have Paulo dinner being delivered to the room tonight. And the other thing is, so Jackson has sandals, that like strapped on sandals that he would only wear. He wouldn't wear the slides that we have at home. Now that we're on the cruise, he doesn't want to wear the strapped on sandals. He wants to wear slippers. So we're gonna go down to the gift shop and see if we can get him some slides too. See what they've got. We have some peanut butter cookies, marshmallows dipped in chocolate, some brownies or blondies. What are these? These are uh, coffee and walnut fancier. Fancier. Ooh, watermelon and cheese. Oh, that sounds good. Cheese plate. Oh, okay. This is smoked salmon sandwich. Some olives. Oh, I will have more of those cereal. Oh, more cereal? Colorful O's. All right, buddy, after dinner, okay? Our dinner is very soon. We went, oh, this isn't open right now. Every time we come up here, we're at sea right now. I, I thought this here. would be open. Me too. Oh, yeah. I was coming to see because I was going to get these shoes. I don't think they have, they have the other ones. Yeah. Oh, they don't see? They get like Crocs. All right, so we are back in the room. <laughs> we just ran downstairs to give Grandma and Grandpa some drinks and to Ooh, collect sure. a menu so that Jackson can do the activities on it and then we also stopped by the gift shop as you guys saw there was not it wasn't open so we couldn't get him any slides now we're back at the room and we're gonna get Paulo delivered to our room so this is one of the perks of staying in the suite is you can have Paulo delivered to your room I think you can also do this in the one bedrooms that have tables in them as long as there's a table in the room they can deliver Paulo to your room if you're staying concierge level so let's have a look right now they've kind of set up the table a little bit Oh no, they took our flower away. Well, they, oh. he said, he said, can I put it over there? And I said, yeah. Oh no, I love that flower. <laughs> Why That's did something. he do that? Well, it's just to make more room, bud. So we yeah. can have lots of room for our food. But we have a beautiful view of the ocean for dinner. There it is. Yeah. A beautiful view of the, oh, it's so bright. Jackson has been excited to be watching the, these are called the, the bedtime stories. And Jackson's been so excited to watch the bedtime stories of Cars 3. And we haven't been able to watch it because it happens during dinner for us. But tonight, we are in the room and we can watch it. Ooh, okay. Now they're making our, our Oliver, towel animal. Seven. Let's see. <laughs> Oliver's going to see too. Oliver wants to see too. Ooh, okay. Oh, here. Come on. All right. You, you want to guess, sorry. Jackson? What, was it? Yeah. Ooh, what, what do you think it is? It? You think it's a peacock? <laughs> no. What do you think it is? A snake. A snake? <laughs> Maybe. Like this. Okay. Oh, 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 okay. Right. Ooh. Oh, a peacock. <laughs> Wait, is it a peacock? Yeah. What? Maybe. Let's see. Kind of looks like the tail, right? Wait, is it going to be a peacock? Yes. Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I did it right. Oh, you, you did it right. right. So how going to oh, watch the watch. head? So you have to put like this in here. And roll, roll, roll. Oh, careful, 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 buddy. He's like already into the chocolates. Wait, wait. Careful, buddy. Careful. Look, look, look. There you oh, go. Oh, I always wondered how you were doing that. <laughs> okay. And then you're gonna hold it like this to okay, fold the end. Oh yeah. Oh, it is. Oh. And then it just goes right. Wow, bud. It's a peacock. Huh. That is yes. so cool. Now we can do them at home. They won't look like this, though. You see? <laughs> Let me guess it. <laughs> that was no, I guess. ruined the surprise. I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel really bad. <laughs> the way I just followed you already. No. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't actually that think it was so a peacock. Yeah. There he goes. Who's that? Jackson Storm. Jackson Storm. There he is. Jackson Storm! Wait, where's his costume? It's on the other side of the bed over oh, there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Jackson Storm. Whoa. Back down there in a secret hiding spot. Wait, hang on. And then you have more Did you say meat or beat? I think you heard me. Okay, I'm done. Andrew, you're Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Look at that. Looks exactly like Jackson's costume. All right, we're starting out with a little bit of a bread service here. And we also got some of oh, the caprese. We got the arugula salad with parmesan. 
Yes. And this is the sole, the Dover sole, not the Denver sole. I think I called it the Denver sole. What is it called? Bakary. Bakary. Yeah. So I steak. misunderstood. I thought that this was a starter. Was an <laughs> I wasn't sure. So I got two entrees. That's okay though. I wanted to try them both. The last time that we had Apollo. Mm -hmm. But it was so long ago. I remember really liking it though. The sole is delicious. It has a really nice, um, there's lots of paper, so it's like super like salty and briny. It's so good. I also wanted to mention that when you order the sole at Paolo, they present this table side and they remove the bones for you table side. So they do that same thing when you order it and have it in your room as well. So that's what's happening here. Uh, he's presenting it table side and removing the bones for me. Ooh, so you're starting in on the lamb. What do you think? Is it meaty? It definitely tastes meatier than like... Meatier? Meatier? Oh my goodness. It's richer. Yeah. It is a little teeny tiny bit gamey. This is an earthier flavor. It's an earthier dish, a heartier dish. Yeah. A lot of like richness in the cheese and especially in the lamb. The lamb is very, yeah, it's the lamb very sure. powerful There's flavor. There's not very much cheese at all. But there is, it is also a tomato based sauce and the, the sauce is not overpowering at all. Mm -hmm. The biggest flavor in there is the lamb. And it's good. It's almost like chili. It's also like ground lamb too. Mm. Like not sliced lamb or anything like that, or like pulled lamb. It's ground, like ground beef. It has the consistency of ground beef. I don't like the leaves off. Oh, we can oh, take, the, I'll leaves take off. the leaves off. Buddy. No worries. But yeah, I haven't started on mine yet. I'm about to do that right now. Just finishing up my salad. Gotta get some greens in me because we've been eating so wild this trip. So this is the issue with having Paulo in the room is there's not like anybody to ask questions to. Oh yeah, what do we? <laughs> like, what do I, what are these? But this, I think my favorite thing really is just the view. It's just and my, like so amazing. I love it. And also this view. Look at that little babes. Oliver. So I figured, what's the next best thing to having somebody here telling me what it is? Let's go on the line and- On the line. On the line and see what's <laughs> on the menu. This is a six ounce grilled choice Angus beef tenderloin, pancetta, truffle potato, Ooh. spinach, and barolo, but it doesn't say anything about the two sauces. This steak has the most delicious flavor that I've had on a cruise ship, on it with a steak. So good. And this is the famous Palo souffle. I feel like anytime you hear anybody talking about Palo, they will mention the souffle because it is the quintessential like Palo dessert. It's so delicious. It's so creamy. It's so rich and chocolatey. And I mean, it's really just worth a trip to Palo just to have the souffle. It is so, so good delicious. and it's so worth the wait. And it was like the perfect way to end our day. All right, it's the end of the day. It was a great day. We ate a lot of food today. Today was extremely food focused, mainly on Paulo because we had Paulo for brunch. And then we had Paulo dinner in the room. I liked having Paulo dinner in the room. It was convenient, it was quiet, it was calm. The kids were hanging out. We could watch TV. Jackson got to watch his, like, uh, his bedtime story of Cars 3. But I do like having somebody there to explain it. I like the food being a little bit like straight out of the kitchen onto the table. But the other thing is that Paulo is 18 and up. So that means that Jackson would never be able to be at Paulo with us. And so because he hasn't been going into the kids club, he, we, we, we wouldn't be able to have Paulo for dinner. So I don't know, it was, it was very convenient and I liked it a lot. And then Paulo for brunch was so, so good. Very delicious. And then also uh, Oliver's first time in the splash pad. Ooh, what an exciting time. Super fun. Tomorrow, Castaway Key. Cannot wait for Castaway Key. I booked parasailing. We'll see if it happens. And then uh, I got parasailing. We've got a cabana. We'll hang out. Jackson wants to go snorkeling with me. We'll put a life vest on him, put some goggles for him, let him look down underneath the water, see what's under there. Should be a pretty fun day. I cannot wait. My favorite thing by far when we go on these cruises is Castaway Key Day. So I cannot wait for Castaway Key tomorrow. It's so all in all a fantastic day. With that being said, we are off. We'll see y'all tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.